John Montgomery here. I want to tell you about a project I call my thinking cap. It's basically like any ordinary hat, except it changes color depending on my brain activity. I'm currently finishing up my PhD in neuroscience, so I decided to make this hat to see what was possible to be developed at the interface of neuroscience, new technology, and fashion. So to give you some background, there are around 100 billion neurons in the brain. That's more neurons inside your head than there are stars in a clear night sky. So to prevent total chaos, the brain uses synchrony. That's to say, neurons in the brain, when they fire together, they're better able to communicate with one another than if they're firing out of sync with one another. So when many neurons in the brain synchronize with one another, it actually creates large voltage fluctuations that can be recorded from electrodes placed on the scalp. And in fact, the brain uses uh, synchrony at many different frequencies. So if I focus my attention, I may be able to increase my gamma frequency oscillations and turn this frontal part of the cap bright red. So I'll give it a try. It's also possible that if I close my eyes and I relax, I may be able to increase my alpha rhythms and turn this back part of the hat red. So let's give that a try. All right, closing my eyes now. How does the thinking cap work? Basically, I'm monitoring my brain activity from these electrodes here inside the headband of the cap. And those signals are coming back here to this amplifier circuit uh, from the Open EEG project. These are amplifying the brain signals. And then those brain signals are coming into the hat here, where they're being processed by these microcontrollers. Microcontrollers are doing a Fourier transform on the signals to break it up into the different frequency components. And then the outputs are sent to these RGB LEDs, which then project the different colors into the different portions of the hat. Measuring your brain activity is a hot topic these days. Everything from video games to controlling robot arms to um, measuring the emotional valence of advertising and focus groups. And although I think there's a lot of hurdles to overcome uh, to get the most out of the information coming from your brain signals, um, as we test out different measurements and applications, I think huge strides will be made in coming years. So if you want to find out more about the Thinking Cap, check out my website, produceconsumerobot.com. And from Sean Montgomery, happy making.